Welcome, lovely Sagittarius. Welcome so much. I'm so glad to have you. This is your general weekly reading through December 9th, 2023. I will begin your reading with crystal scrying and continuing on with the tarot and some oracle at the end. So before I begin, please know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. I am just so truly blessed to have you here with me. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please show me, tell me, or both, what does the zodiac sign of Sagittarius need to know for the upcoming week's energies, please, Spirit? Thank you. Here. Okay, here. Okay. And who is Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius, I'm seeing you as if you are, yeah, and this, who is this? Hold on just a moment. Who is this? Wow, you're going to be shocking people. Sagittarius, you are coming through as uh, a king or an emperor type energy. You're sitting on a throne, okay? And there are people around you and they're looking at you like, oh, okay? Like, how did Sagittarius get here, you know? So this is very amazing. Good for you, Sagittarius. Okay, what else for Sagittarius, please? Is this Sagittarius? Yeah, so Sagittarius, you're coming through sideways. Um, I'm seeing your head laying sideways, but you have this huge smile on your face. So I feel like what this means is usually when I see sideways, that's telling me something that's not quite in balance. That can be, um, you know, feeling stressed for time. That can be um, feeling like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. And you're just kind of, you know, running here and this way and that way. Uh, it's kind of like a balancing act that you're going to need uh, to find here. Okay. Um, so your life can be very busy, happy, but busy. Okay. Um, so that could be now or the energy that you're stepping into. Um, also, I feel like for many of you, because I'm seeing you as the uh, either king or emperor type energy, um, I'm feeling like uh, that it's almost like because of the looks from the people around you, like how did Sagittarius get here already, that um, you're just stepping into this energy. Now, a king or an emperor, now if it's the king, um, a king, no matter which king it is, they're very strategic, okay? They don't just hop on any opportunity right here, right now, okay? They strategize. They think about, okay, so if I make this move as if it's a game, if I make this move and this other person or situation makes this move, then what will my next move be so that I will be uh, continuing to be this king or emperor, okay? Um, so it's like needing to really find that balance and release some of that busy energy so that you can have time to make these plans and really strategize and focus on the outcome that you want, okay? All right, please give me more for Sagittarius. Here. Okay, and who is this? Okay, so Sagittarius, you are coming through as a mouse with huge ears. So I feel like Spirit's telling you to please keep your ears open, okay? This could be opportunities coming your way. Um, this could be information coming your way that's going to be very important for you to hear or to learn, okay? Um, it, for some of you, it could be a situation of information, something that you overhear about, you know, other people. Um, something that, you know, like maybe people are saying things about you because, you know, all of a sudden Sagittarius is sitting on this throne and, you know, it could be a situation of where you're increasing in frequency. And, you know, as we do so, it's, it's a normal thing that as we're increasing, um, those who are still, 
uh, left in a more negative type energy, um, you know, they begin to fall away from us and we begin to fit, find more like minded people. Right. And so there could be someone who uh, becomes jealous of you in some way. So you'll need to keep your ears open for that. Uh, again, that's just for a few of you. Uh, but definitely keep your ears open and um, because there's some kind of information coming through that's going to be very important. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. I love this. This is brand new abundant beginnings. Now, this can mean for a few of you um, that there is some kind of either new partnership or, you know, if you're looking to start a new relationship with someone, uh, someone new coming in. Um, but again, that's not for everyone. OK, this is basically a card of abundance, though. OK, brand new, spanking new beginning. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, thank you, Spirit. And you see the hand. It's like Spirit is handing this to you. Um, it's it's coming in after you have taken action towards manifesting some kind of uh, dreams, hearts, goals, desires into your life. Okay. But again, that's after taking all the action that you possibly can. And then Spirit's like, look, I'm handing this to you, okay? So you have to make sure you take action first, okay, Sagittarius? All right, and what else would you like to tell Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, this is great news. I am so thrilled for you. What else for Sagittarius? Yeah, I feel like many of you... Okay, thank you, because the cards weren't coming out. Uh, for a while, you may have been feeling like you're in a funk of some kind, like a stuck, stagnant energy, and we had the devil card. So some of you um, could be some kind of addictions um, that you or a person that has been in your life or that group of people I saw could be person, place, situations, could be yourself that you may need to reevaluate, you know, um, toxic people that you're around, toxic situations, some of you, it could be a job or a place you live, um, but definitely reevaluating and your inner self. You know, are there any addictions? We all have addictions of some kind. I mean, it's hard to, it's really hard to step away from, you know, being completely free of addictions, especially if we're not aware, you know, because addictions are many things to many people. So you just have to look and see, you know, you know, we can even be addicted to people. So um, you just have to look and see what sort of addiction that you or what you are surrounding yourself with is no longer good for you so that you can release that and come into this king or emperor energy. This, this is great. Okay, Spirit, Holy Divine, please show me more. What else would you like to tell Sagittarius, please? Hold on just a moment. That was me. That was not Spirit. I just dropped the cards. Okay. Thank you. And what do we have here? We have, yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, Reverser Upright. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. So see, this Ten of Swords, you know, that's like I'm done type energy of, you know, with person, place, situation, um, you know, like being stabbed in the back just too many times, ending of a cycle here, um, you know, that can, that could include walking away from people, places, situations that could include, um, setting strong boundaries with, you know, those that you can't actually walk away from, or let's say for instance, it's a job. Um, you need your job and it's a situation you can't walk away from it. But at the same time, you know, you, you're standing in your truth because swords are also about communication uh, and freedom. So, you know, it's it's a situation if it's a job and you can't walk away that you're still standing in your truth. And, you know, you're saying, hey, you know, I know my worth and, you know, I don't feel like this is fair. Um, I feel like I'm getting the, the wrong end of the stick here and we need to do something about it. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, setting strong boundaries. Now, we also have the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius. This is extremely fast moving energy, okay? Very abundant energy. Um, it can also mean for some of you air travel or traveling overseas. But again, that's for a few of you. But 
it's like opportunities that just kind of you know, remember I was telling you about getting prepared for the busy, making sure that you have a good balance um, because these arrows, they've already been set in motion. OK, so um, when something's already been set in motion, uh, we can't just stop it midstream in the air. OK, I mean, we can. But, you know, we would have to have something in the air to stop it. So these are already in motion. And since they are, it's kind of like when as they land, it's going to be like opportunity or situations happening like boom, 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 boom. You see what I'm saying? So it kind of scattered type uh, coming in one right after the other. So you definitely need to prepare yourself for that. All right, Spirit, give me more, please, for Sagittarius. Definitely don't want to, you know, get into the situation of where you are overwhelmed. Um, yeah, see, we have the five of cups with the four of cups. Very interesting. So I feel like, again, many of you have been in some kind of funk here where you're feeling like, you know, you're mourning a loss of a person, a place, a situation. And this four of cups is kind of like the depressive type energy. Um Focusing more on what or whom you've lost instead of the cup that's above you. Okay, the, what you ha what you still have to be grateful for, and spirits wanting you to um, really focus on what you have right now. That uh, in the moment that you can be grateful for, okay, so that you can move forward and begin coming out of that Five of Cups energy. Okay, what else would you like to tell Sagittarius, please? Okay, and this one, thank you. And what do we have? Reverse or upright? Upright. Okay, we have a seven of swords. I definitely feel like there's something going on here with secrets. I feel like you, Sagittarius, you may be working on something here or have an idea for many of you. Have some kind of idea and you're keeping it quiet. Now, you know, it could be, you know, some kind of business idea. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a simple fact. Just for an example, you know, you are thinking about redoing your room or, you know, painting something or making something. And it could be a situation of, well, you're not speaking about it right now. You're keeping it secret um, for whatever reason. And then once the project is completed, then you make it known. OK, because you're shocking people with something here. OK, so there is some kind of secret and it may not be that you're like actually like, oh, I'm going to keep this secret. It just may may mean for some of you that it's just that's just how it works out. You're not just like voice and hey, I'm going to make this new table, you know. <laughs> OK, I love it. But spirit, please show me more for Sagittarius. OK, thank you. And we have. Oh, King of Swords with the Ace of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You are definitely, listen, I told you I saw the King. Okay, here you are, Sagittarius. Okay, now you're coming in with this energy of finding ultimate freedom, um, finding ultimate clarity on situations here. Okay, becoming a master at some type of craft at something that you that you're good at okay and becoming the master of it seeing it clearly okay and being able to communicate because again swords are about communication so being able to communicate wisely efficiently here is an owl okay so we have that wise owl and these birds oh my gosh these birds, check it out. They all have their wings. Okay. They're in flight. Their wings are out. They're outstretched. So that's telling me getting a bird's eye view on a situation. It's telling me movement forward. And you also have butterflies. Transformation here. Sagittarius. It's like it's all being said right here in this one card. This is amazing. And it's coming out with the Ace of Cups. So that's telling me there's an, an exciting new beginning because this is a, a card about emotions. Okay. 
And it's telling me there's healing coming in in this brand new cycle, okay? For whatever this Five of Cups energy was for you, you're going to be taking action towards healing. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to be completely healed. You know, we all heal in different ways and times. And some of us never actually heal, you know, within a lifetime. But it's taking action towards it and moving on into this new cycle and um, being excited, uh, being happy. Um, it's also a card about... Um, uh, intuition, like your intuition is growing or expanding. And so that I love this for you. All right, Spirit, let's go to the Oracle and see what else you would like to say. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, we have abandoned, left out, walking away, cold. So many of you may feel like you've been abandoned either by a person, a group of people, or again, could be like a job loss, something like that. Okay. Um, and then we also have thinking, missing you, craving, desire. So, yeah, see, again, I feel like many of you, you feel like you've been abandoned by a certain person. Um, and then we have obscurity, secrets, mysteries, concealing. See, you're keeping something secret here. Okay. Um, and then we have intimacy, bonding, sensual confiding so again um you know i had i did see the ace of pentacles for some of you i don't feel like this is for all um this could be an intimate partner coming in um but for the rest of you this could be just simply um you know um someone new who could be like a new business partner that you can confide in that you can trust um it could be a family member um that you know you're just blossoming um with your relationship with them or someone let's say you had a work acquaintance for years and all of a sudden you know you blossom you blossom with that person and you decide to start your own businesses together okay um but this is definitely a card of a blossoming relationship here and never ever has to always mean intimate and we have foundation established family security so i feel like spirit's saying that you are coming into this this uh, king energy of where you are going to be now building a sturdy, strong foundation. Okay. Um, and it's going to be strong and sturdy for years, generations to come. Um, it's going to bring you in a lot of security. And uh, but the thing that you have to remember here, Sagittarius, you have to take action. Okay. Um, that's been coming through since the very beginning of this reading. It's going to, it's going to really, uh, What's the word I'm looking for, Spirit? Well, it's going to really matter. Um, if you don't take action, plain and simply, this isn't going to happen. You're going to stay in that Five of Cups energy. And Spirit wants you to come out of that. It's, it's kind of like a, an energy of being stuck, okay? And Spirit's wanting to bless you here, Sagittarius, with something amazing. But you have to be able to uh, allow that stuff to... Uh, you like take some kind of action towards healing, take action towards what it is you would like to manifest in your life. And Spirit's going to give that to you. It's going to help you find it. Okay. Help you help lead you to it. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you, lovely Sagittarius. So much love to each of you. And I'm sending each of you huge, big 